My name is Dade Adini and I have been coding with TechBridge for a few weeks now. I code, I've been learning how to code. I'm a student as well. This is a program for a mood predi predictor. Um, I have my range of numbers from 1 to 10 and I have the variable that I'll be inputting the numbers and the conditional statement here which is going to determine what my mood is going to be is if the variable is um, the number that I put in if when it's divided it has no remainder it will give me um, you're going to have an amazing day and if not it's going to be today is rough so it's really even and odd so now it's asking me to enter a number from 1 to 10 and I'll put in 2 and I'll press enter and it shows me I'm going to have an amazing day. So that is how the program works. So the world is moving forward as we know it. So we have all sorts of new advanced different types of technologies coming out every day. And I don't want to be left behind or not know of all these things. I don't know if I'm going to become a programmer in the long run, but I would like to have the basic knowledge of programming just to make sure that I'm aware of these things. So I received the email through my mom. She got the email and she showed me so we did our research and then once you were convinced, we joined the program. Okay, my name is Oluak Pelumi and I'm 11 years old. It all started when I was 3 years old and I got my first building set kit, which was called Kusha. It all progressed to the day I went for a first bank program. So my dad collected the instructor. The instructor. Mr. Bayadi collected his number and so one day my mom woke me up and told me that I was going to have my first robotics class. So I was really happy. Then that same day, my robotics teacher, Mr. Bayadi, came and he showed me everything. So I asked him, when are we going to start building? And he was like, no, you don't just start building, you need to learn the basics. So he told me the three bases of robotics, which are the three major parts, the actuators, the sensors, and the controllers, because I really got to start building. So he brought in the kit, Fisher Technique, and he asked me which part of it do I want to specialize in. And I told him majorly the robots, the machines, and so I got the kit for from Fisher Technique, I got the machines, and so we started building. And since that day, I've been building. And at a point, he said that I'm really, I was really good at it. So he introduced me to Python, or also known as Virtual Code Studio, which was a coding app. So he taught me how to use it. It could be used for simulating, making games, webs, hacking, and all the other stuff. So I chose the part of making webs and games. So because of the web part, he also introduced me to HTML, which is majorly used for um, majorly used for webs. So he has really taught me a lot on how to use Python. And I have a lot of projects I've done, calculators, converters, team pickers, rock, paper, scissors, and all other things. So I really appreciate the work they have done. Biodevelopment is my name, uh, CEO of TechBridge Consulting Limited. I uh, provide training for kids in coding and robotics, and also for adults between the age of 18 to 35, especially those who want to pivot uh, into tech careers and uh, beginning to work uh, leveraging their coding skills. TechBridge Consulting is a STEM and tech education firm uh, providing training for youths and young people on how to leverage on their skill uh, to create for creation of tech products and then most especially preparing them for the future of work. Children learn coding vis-a-vis uh, -vis, um, scratch programming, HTML, CSS for web uh, development. They learn JavaScript, Python programming. Some of them are already engaging in projects uh, as far as um, data analysis and all of that. Uh, beyond that, too, they also do robotics. Robotics where they get to do hands-on. Children learn faster when they lay their hands on projects. And in the process, too, they are learning coding. They are able to apply what they have learned in Python and all that uh, coding skills that I've acquired. Um, I've been able to see them working on, on the robot's life. Children learn robotics, and then it helps them to uh, apply knowledge quickly because they are able to uh, use their hands to work. And then, principally, they are able to apply the coding they have learned. Some of the projects they are seen around uh, they are able to uh, work on it live and direct and then apply 
um, coding skills to begin to solve problems right from a young age. Our target audience is uh, uh, principally around uh, children with age 7 to 18 and then currently we are also running trainings for uh, uh, young adults uh, between 18 to 25. Currently, uh, before the pandemic, our training uh, model is usually going from school to schools. We conduct trainings. But right now, as a result of the pandemic, we are currently running trainings across the school virtually. And then even beyond that, we are setting up a coding club for children between age 7 to 18 so that they can acquire coding skills as soon as possible. We have trained a number of uh, children and even young people in this uh, respect. Daddy2 is somebody who is learning uh, backend web development, uh, leveraging Python. Uh, to be able to develop uh, back-end solutions for companies. Uh, that is just for a thing. Uh, another person that is also doing this is Kwelumi. Kwelumi has been learning with us for quite uh, about uh, five months now. He started with robotics, did well with it, and did amazing applications. Okay, so I will encourage parents to uh, subscribe to this uh, program for their children, for the coding club, very accessible. Children get to learn, learn, the, uh, learn remote working. Apart from that, they also acquire skills that will get them leading in the future of work by 2030. To be a part of this training, uh, you can always access us uh, via our website, www.techbridge.com.ng. We also have social media links, on Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn where you can always access us and you get our contacts directly there. Uh, we'll be always willing to attend to you.